My name is Shelly Ricketts. We're doing girls talk. So what we do is we actually just talk about different subjects. So each one of us have kind of picked a subject. Sometimes we collaborate. Sometimes we just do it, you know, on our own. Today we get to talk about mental health. There's so many things that relate to mental health. And I am so excited to hear um, our dear friend, Lori Hardy. And those of you that don't know Lori, she is actually a DJ, Seattle area. She has partnered with us. There's a few of us on here today that have a passion for just doing things the natural ways. We're not against doctors. And what we're going to say today, we don't treat, cure, or prevent or cure any diseases. But what we do believe is that the body, if it's given the right supplements or the right things, it will actually heal itself. And that's the way that we believe God really created our bodies. Lori gets to talk about mental health and mood. We are super excited to hear. And this is just pushing us to learn more. We are um, all on this journey. We haven't arrived, but we are learning every time we do a girls talk. I learn so much from all my other gals on here and it's just been a fun journey. Take it away, Lori. Super excited. Thank you all for taking time to be here. This is a subject I'm especially excited about. So I'm just going to start with the slides. Mental health includes our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. A lot of times we talk about mental health and people think mental illness, but mental health is encompasses it all. It affects how we think, feel, and act. It also helps determine how we handle stress, uh, relate to others, and make choices. So mental health is, again, it encompasses every area of our life. Mental health is yeah. important at every stage of life. So it's not just something when we're adults, it's um, childhood, adolescence, all the way through adulthood. And I'm just setting the stage here. Um, so over the course of your life, you might experience mental health problems in your thinking, mood, and behavior, and it could be affected. So many factors that contribute to mental health problems are, number one, biological factors, genes, or brain chemistry. We've heard of some people have, they're prone to, as with that we hear about cancer, they're prone to a depression. Life experiences such as trauma or abuse. And I do a lot of work with women coming out of drugs and alcohol. And what I've discovered, uh, I don't think it's any surprise, is that many people end up on drugs and alcohol because of trauma, childhood abuse, childhood sexual abuse, men and women. And so trauma affects our life. Sometimes I think about, because I grew up with trauma, I think about how here I am, I'm uh, in my sixties, something will trigger me. I'll see something that takes me right back to that childhood. And it just amazes me how it's not a one and done type of thing that our mental health is something that we want to work on every day. And then we might have a family history of mental health problems. Um, mental health problems are common, but help is available. People with mental health problems can get better and many recover completely. I am a life coach. And so when people say to me, that's just the way I am, I feel like the Wicked Witch of the West, I'm melting, you know, no, 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 no. If you ever have heard of Caroline Leaf, Dr. Caroline Leaf, our mind can change our brain. We can change our life. We are not stuck in this. So some ways that we can help plant-based supplements. Now I grew up on the beach. I grew up uh, as a vegetarian before it was cool. We didn't have these awesome things to fill in the blanks, but I knew about supplements. I knew about eating healthy, you know, at school when kids got get teased for being fat, I got teased. Girls would take their arms around my wrist. Now you're too skinny. That's actually as traumatic as being called fat. So the first thing is cut out junk food and sugar. I am surprised that we don't know more about this as a nation. And uh, Dr. Leaf and several other people talk about the American diet. They call it the fat diet. And it's not because it's fat. It's because of the way we think about and because we eat sugar, we eat so many processed food. When you're shopping, if you pick out something and you look at the ingredients and there's more than three, it's processed. And that's junk that we're putting in our body. Mm -hmm. I am a big advocate Four, and let me let me um, frame this for antidepressants. Number one, because if you are struggling with depression and you haven't changed your diet yet, diet takes a while to change. 
But if you are struggling with depression, get help. Once you get help and you get your brain back in functioning, then you can make those decisions. You can eat healthy and you can start to change a lot of things and get off those antidepressants. Antidepressants aren't really created for long term. They're created to help you get a grip. And often when um, I see people coming off drugs and alcohol, and then now they've got all this trauma that's not being addressed in the drugs and alcohol program. So they may need a little support. Look at the warnings. If your antidepressant says can cause suicidal ideations, no, don't take that one. And that's the problem with so many pharmaceuticals. And my whole goal in life is to not be on them. My doctor wanted me to go on for indigestion. I can't think of the ones she just wanted me to get over the counter. I started taking these enzymes that we will be talking about. Changed my life. Now I don't need those. Um, she wanted me on um, some sort of cholesterol. I was taking our boost. I don't need those pharmaceuticals. Antidepressants are helpful, but just for a time, if you take antidepressants and you don't get counseling and you don't change your diet, they're not helpful because what's going to happen is you're going to get immobile and you're not going to feel empowered to do what you need to do. Exercise is huge, but as you know, if you've ever struggled with depression, you can't get out of bed. You can't get out of your chair. And often when my girls show up for coaching, they're like, well, I'm awake or I'm out of bed. I'm like, let's celebrate that. And people will say that we'll get up. We'll just think better thoughts. And those sound nice and they do help, but it's, it's a process of recognizing. And also we need connection. And we saw during COVID, a lot of people lost connection because social media is not really connection. <laughs> and so when we couldn't meet with people one-on-one that caused a lot of grief. So Um, These are things that I'm not a doctor. I'm not a counselor. I am actually a life coach and I have been for since 1998. Uh, These are things that work, but they take effort. When you stick to a diet of healthy food, you're setting yourself up for fewer mood functions as an overall happier outlook and improved ability to focus food, man, food is so important. And if we're going to just sit and eat sugar and junk food, and I've had people say, well, I got off sugar, but I got a really bad headache. So I went and ate more. It's like, if you're getting off and you get a headache, that's called detoxing. So think fresh fruits and vegetables, fiber, antioxidants, folate, which is a type of vitamin B, vitamin D, magnesium, and fermented food. Guess what? We have all of these. Shelly's going to be sharing our products. We have all of these. You don't have to go to a whole bunch of different places to find these things. Positive mental health. When we have that positive mental health, it allows us to realize our full potential. I see so many people that have no idea what they are capable of. And it helps us to cope with the stresses of life. So life is going to happen. You don't get mentally healthy and then no bad things happen. Life is going to happen. So if we're eating right, and we're working on ourselves, then we are going to be able to cope with the stresses of life. Last night, I have a podcast called No Longer Ashamed, and we interview people who have had childhood sexual abuse, which takes about 26 years for people to actually admit it because it's so horrendous. And this guy got clean and sober, started working on his recovery, and his wife got cancer. She's got four years, they think, to live. And I said, how do you cope with this daily stress of life? How do you not use? And he says, I do my daily affirmations and I have this list for you, connect with my source, with God. And every day I have gratitude. When we do these things, then when we have big stresses of life, here's this guy just out of recovery. Now his wife is dying. They they were married all through their drug and alcohol. They lost all of their years. Now they got four years left and hear him say, that's how he copes with it. It helps us work productively actually get things done. You know, a lot of people are like, you know, I'm like on a treadmill, I'm doing all this work, but nothing's ever happening. And then making meaningful contributions to our community. And that's what I love about this company that Shelly's going to tell you about is we have an opportunity to make money if that's what we want to do and, and give back to our very own community. It's just such an amazing company to work for. And when we give uh, this, this month in Washington state is it's called give big Wah because I work in radio, I get to interview all these different little nonprofits. And one of them is a chimpanzee. We have a chimpanzee sanctuary in Washington state. It's like we get to give and, and the statistics on giving back is when we give, we feel better. And 
I just got to tell you, Foxy loves troll dolls and um, and Jamie loves cowboy boots. Not only does she like to wear them, she wants you to wear them when you're walking by the gate. And I posted about Foxy loving troll dolls. And of course, many people were like, are they in cages? What are you doing? You know, they really overreacted. I said, no, they had horrible lives. They were being tested in a biochemical community and they are giving them the best life they can have because they can't reintegrate them into the wild after all these years of being caged. And someone said, well, Foxy looks really sad. And I'm like, you know what? She had a horrible, crappy upbringing, but she's a chimpanzee. So she can't do the things she needs to, like we as humans can do, they're doing the best they can for them. But the thing about us is we get to, we get to do these things and make a great life. So what I want to say about depression is if you are feeling depressed, get help. There's long-term depression, maybe from childhood, There's short-term depression, example, grief or postpartum. But if you feel depressed, there's no shame in that. It's things that are happening in your brain. And when you get help and support, you are going to take over the world. You're going to be a rock star. And often people go, well, I'm not going to get counseling. Well, counseling doesn't work. Look into getting help. Support yourself. If someone tells you they're struggling, say, I believe you. So many times when someone tells us they're hurting, we get scared. We get nervous and we try to fix. That never helps. It never helps. And I teach people how to become coaches. And if you can take anything away from today, don't try to fix people. Say, I believe you. Look, there's help. Here's a suicide prevention hotline. When I first recognized my depression, I had a friend who came over every day. Bless her heart. It started with postpartum. And then it, then I recognized childhood. She said, can you call one counselor today? One. And I did and got a recording. One day I called the lady and she called right back. And she said, I don't care if you have money. I don't care. She heard, she heard something in my voice and she got me in. She got me connected with crime victim compensation that paid for my counseling. You know, often we think, well, I can't afford it, or I don't have insurance, get help. And then let the other things work themselves out. And if you know someone struggling, walk with them, support them. Don't try to fix them. Just say, I believe you. I'm here for you. I'm very passionate about that. (laughs) The one thing that's really important about our mental health is that have you ever heard our, your gut is your second brain. I love listening to murder mysteries. I love true crime. And they always say, well, my gut told me, well, you know what? It does tell us because it's our intuition. But when our gut is healthy, then our brain can be healthy. If our gut is not digesting, then our brain is not going to be healthy either. And it, it, there is a very true connection. And because I was fortunate enough to have been raised very healthy, I learned that early on. And when I went to college and gained the, call it the COVID-15 now, but the freshman 15, I went from eating fresh fruits and vegetables to pasta and sugar and desserts. That's what you get in college. And I got so sick emotionally as well as physically because my gut was so out of control. Your senses like sight, sounds, flavors, or textures, all of that is connected. Anxiety, depression, as well as chronic pain. When you're in chronic pain, you you cannot be mentally healthy until you're able to start doing something about it. So I'm going to throw it to Shelly for a minute. She's going to talk about these. This is I am so excited. We, I think we got one week left before we get this product. So go ahead, Shelly, tell us about this and let me know when you want me to change the screen for you. Thank you so much, Cash. So much packed into such little short time, but you know what? We just really want to make things aware and we want to be real with people. We're not saying that, like Lori said, medications are, we're not, we're not condoning medications or anything like that. There's a time and a season for them. I was actually, to be honest with you, I was actually one of those one people that you were talking about, Lori, when you said, oh, just get over it, you know, whatever, because I was raised by a master sergeant in the military. And so we had to always have have our, you know, emotions in check. So we weren't really allowed to go to that side. And so I remember always being a strong person. And then, then my dad passed away. 
and I had no idea what anxiety was. I had no idea what panic attacks were. And for a whole year, I had a season of anxiety and panic attacks. Man, it is debilitating. It really is. I mean, I, I first started out going with the pharmaceutical and I only took a few of them because it really just made me tired and everything. And so I just decided you know what? I've always went the natural way. So I'm going to seek out natural things. And I did. And praise the Lord that, you know, I, I made it through it. I'm stronger now because of it. So we're on this journey. Just want you guys to all know that we really are on this journey. I'm super excited about our, our next product that is coming out. None of us have got to try it yet. So we are so excited about trying it, but I wanted to just kind of dive in with what's inside of this product because the ingredients inside of this product are amazing. So it's called replenish. So it has seven different types of organic mushrooms in it. Okay. I have to be honest with you. Some of these I can't say, but I do know. Okay. So I do know shiitake. I do know oyster. Um, I've heard of turkey tail mushrooms. I don't even know the rest of them, but what I do know is that uh, mushrooms are a great source of protein and antioxidants for you. So amazing. So that's one of the ingredients. There's a, like five ingredients. Now here's the mother load of what it is. I, I tried to pronounce the top word and I was like, how in the heck do you even pronounce this word? Okay. So I had to actually look it up. It's called, it's actually how you pronounce it. Sheila Jeet. Sheila Jeet. So Sheila Jeet is actually, it comes from the Himalayan mountains. It's a black tar like substance. And so what happens is it, so the monks and the Sher, Sher, Sherpa, Sherpas, yeah, Sherpas, they've been using it for years and mostly they've used it for energy. So what happens is, is that it only comes out once during the year and it's during the heated season of the year. And what it is, is that the a tar, because it's so hot, that a tar starts oozing out of the mountains. And so then they go and they harvest it from it. And so it really is like a black tar. So just the shilajit is there's over 80 trace minerals. So how many of us know that our soils are so depleted right now that we're not getting any of minerals that we should be getting? Like I'm I'm a Midwest girl from the farm farming industry, right? And so we what we did is we rotated crops so that we could get you know, nutrients put back into certain, you know, fields. And then the next year we would rotate back and stuff. So I know the importance of that, but Harvard University did a study today. So just so you know, is that if you took an apple 50, 60 years ago, but you wanted the same nutritional value to get today, you would have to eat a hundred apples today just to get the same nutritional value. That's like totally amazing to me. I mean, I'm like, wow, we have gone so far the other way, right? So here's the, um, I don't know, the hoorah of the shilajit. So within shilajit is also they found the trace minerals, they found fulvic acid. Now fulvic acid, it's, it actually, so what is fulvic acid? Fulvic acid, if you don't know, if you've, um, if people mm -hmm. have taken um, the um, vaccine, and they're having lots of side effects from the vaccine, from the COVID vaccine. Um, a lot of people were taking fulvic acid to actually get the, um, uh, the detox from it. So what does fulvic acid do? Fulvic acid, it, it helps in digestion and nutrition absorption. It's a, a protecting um, our cognitive health, memory, and it supports detoxification. It's lowering free radical damage and inflammation. So if people are battling with inflammation, Oh my gosh, this is going to be an amazing, you know, product for us. And um, also just getting that support for detoxification within uh, Shilajit also. Now this is just one, this is just one thing that's coming from the Himalayan mountains. And this is all that they found within the Shilajit. Um, humic acid. So what does humic acid do? It, it binds to and eliminates toxins and heavy metals at the cellular level. I, you hear a lot of people going, okay, I want to, you know, do, a, I'm overloaded with toxins and heavy metals. How can I get rid of them? Well, humic uh, acid is actually the way to get rid of that. So that is in the shilajit. Um, and then the other one is photonutrients, which the photonutrients actually help prevent damage um, to cells in the body. And it's also shown to reduce the risk of cancer and heart. Well, on here. Alzheimer's, Parkinson's.
Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. I mean, if we can get this into our bodies and I mean, we're, this is just, this is just one um, ingredient within our replenish. So that's really super exciting. When I started reading the ingredients, I hadn't really dissected it all, but I was so excited to be able to say, oh my gosh, we have got the mother load of, you know, mother loads here. So, okay. And then it's got ashwagandha in it. Well, I've done a little bit of research on ashwagandha, but it's native to India and South Asia. And that's really, if you don't know, I mean, I've been to India a few times and that is really one of their go-tos as far as when people are having issues with their bodies and stuff. I'm just going to kind of pull mine over here. Uh, da, okay. Um, yeah. So it's, it, 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 the benefits of ashwagandha, anxiety, stress, reduces inflammation, um, improves sleep, uh, reduces mental health conditions. And then uh, finally reduces mental health conditions. Oh, I said that twice, sorry. Mm. <laughs> and improves brain function and memory. So we got ashwagandha in there as well. Super excited about that. And then we have organic cinnamon bark powder because what they say is if you just took the... Um, Shilajit. Well, what it tastes like, it tastes like, um, oh man, what did they say? Like, well, it doesn't have a very good flavor to it. So they decided, you know what, let's put some organic cinnamon um, bark powder in there and that will kind of, you know, sweeten it up. So it is basically, it is going to be a nighttime tea. And I don't know about you guys, but if you know when, when your body works the most, it's when we're sleeping. It's not when we're awake and we're, you know, doing things around the house or, or doing our big workout. It's actually when we're sleeping is your body is working the hardest. And so anyways, this will be in a warm tea. We'll drink it at nighttime. Those products in itself, just in our replenish, it's formulated just for turn on. So that is the exciting part about it. Nobody else has this and we are all so excited to get our hands on it. It will be open to the rest who weren't at conference. I think it's about two weeks after that, maybe. When Shelly's talking about that, that is something that, you know, if you choose to take, you want to do it in a daily way. And daily routines are so important to our mental health. So whether it's um, food that we eat, supplements that we take, or the one thing that when I was young mom, three kids, I lived in a terrible house. In fact, sometimes when I turned on the water, cause we were on a well, it was black and I knew something was up with my husband. I didn't know what I saw this Oprah show with uh, Sarah Ben Brethnatch. And she said, you know, daily gratitude. And so I started th writing three things every day I was grateful for. And it was hard. It was really hard for me to, f I, because my life sucked and I just start, okay, I do have a roof over my head even if I have black water, I do have a vehicle that actually runs, you know? And so I started that daily practice every single day. Did it change my situation? Nope, but it changed me. And I started looking for gratitude because when you're not looking for gratitude, you're focusing on all the things that are bad. And you know what, no matter how good our life is, there are a lot of things that are bad. Some of us have children that are drug addicts but we still have to live every day and hope and pray every day. So gratitude every day is an amazing daily practice, daily connection with God. I work with addicts. What they know is if they don't connect with their source daily, they are going to relapse. When I coach regular people, we call them normies. They don't really see the value in a daily connection or a daily routine. But if you talk to anyone who's come out of drugs and alcohol, what is saving their life every day is their daily routine. I told you about the guy whose wife has cancer, daily affirmations, daily looking in the mirror. He doesn't love himself yet, but he's daily looking in the mirror saying, I love you. Thank you, God, for how you created me, whether he believes it or not, because our mind can change our brain. And so sometimes we have to say the words before we actually believe them. The daily habits, I have water on here because there's a great book called The Miracle Morning and it tells you how to connect daily habits. So maybe you wanna drink more water. What are you already doing in the morning? Well, you're probably brushing your teeth. So connect that. So our daily habits that promote whatever it is we're doing. I coach a lot of people in business 
And so what are you doing every day towards your business? You know, what's one daily thing or it's those daily things. When you meet people that are hundred years old, you know, what have you done? Well, every day I drink a glass of water or, or some people every day I have a shot of bourbon, you know, I mean, whatever it is, but it's almost always something daily, daily habits. And then this next one, affirmation, I'm going to come back to this, but affirmations are mantras. When I first became a coach, I heard a lot about affirmations and they were hard for me to say because I didn't believe them yet because I was having a hard time. And so affirmations don't work for everyone, but some people, there's some people do decrees. I decree that, you know, they speak life into their life or a mantra. And so I just read this amazing book by John Acuff. He's hilarious. It's called Soundtracks. And so this is the mantra that he has that he does every day and he has you do. Keep your mic on or off, I don't care, but I'm gonna have you say this with me. I'm number one, today is a brand new and tomorrow is too. Number two, I've got a gift worth giving. Number three, the only person standing in my way is me and I quit doing that yesterday. Number four, I am the CEO of me and I am the best boss. Number five, winning is contagious. When I help others win, I win too. Number six, feeling uncomfortable is just a sign that my old comfort zone is having a hard time keeping up with me. Number seven, momentum is messy. (laughs) Number eight, everything is always working out for me. And when he talks about this, he says, then I go look for evidence. You drive up to a store, you find front row parking. Everything is always working out for me. You hit a green light. Everything is always working out for me. Number nine, I am my biggest fan. You know what? That is not a sin. We can be our biggest fan because when we have confidence and at convention, we saw some confident woman and you know what? It wasn't offensive. It was actually, man, sexy, amazing to see those women. And number 10, the best response to obstacles is to do it anyway. What we tell ourselves, so if we say, oh, I always trip, guess what? Our brain doesn't have, it doesn't know right from wrong. So it says, oh, she likes to trip. So she looks for he, it, whatever, looks for things to trip on. So when we tell our brain these things, then that's what it looks for. This is science, Dr. Caroline Leaf. If you haven't heard of her, look her up. She has a podcast. She has tons of books. She's amazing. So our brain believes what we tell us. So affirmations and mantras matter. And if you are in business for yourself, if you are working with a a hard community, kids or um, disabled people, you do these mantras. They give you the strength to continue to give back to those people because you're working on yourself. And then self-talk which goes with the affirmations. But when I was, I remember before I had kids and was married, I, um, I was engaged, I think. And I went out to feed the horses and it was before cell phones. And I had a little Chevy love truck and I had a little Cocker Spaniel dog. And, and, uh, I got out of the car and, uh, just left the keys in it because we're in the country and, uh, was feeding the horses. And I went to get back in the car and my dog went, hi, and locked the door. (laughs) And I'm out in the middle of nowhere. And what I said was, you already, you always mess everything up. You're such an idiot. And I don't know if it was the grace of God or what, because I hadn't taken any coaching classes yet, but I went, no, I don't always mess everything up. I'm not an idiot. Actually, it was kind of funny. And those things happened. And so I started to understand about self-talk. And, you know, when we start looking at what we say to ourselves, we are so mean, we're meaner than the meanest girl you ever met. And you know what? It hurts our creator. I did a little skit at church and I had this really um, nice older man. He was holding a mirror. And then I had a friend come up and she's like, oh, you're so ugly. Oh, your nose is too big. And the guy holding the mirror is actually God. He's like, ouch. Oh, you know, he's looking at this girl who he absolutely loves and adores because he's God he created. And she's like, "Eh, you're awful. You're ugly. You know, and that's, that's really what it's like. And when we get that picture, And we start to turn that around. And, you know, because I was called an idiot, I was raised with a mentally ill mom when, because I was called an idiot. When I looked in the mirror, I saw my mom and I, 
she made me wear makeup. She would kiss me before I went to school. And if I didn't have my makeup on, she'd make me put it on. I go to school, I'm washing it off in the room where all the other girls are putting on their makeup because their moms won't let them wear it. It's that self-talk. And so I could look in the mirror and finally I said, okay, I like my blue eyes. I found one thing, you know, and I started finding one more thing because when we love ourselves, we love others. And when we don't love ourselves, don't be fooled. You do not love others. And I've had clients say to me, oh, well, I love others, but you know what? Whatever's in here oozes out just like that black tar oozes out of the mountain. And if it doesn't have good stuff in it, that's what people, and, and girls come into Esther's place, the day center for homeless women. I used to run. They said, do I kick me right across my forehead? And I said, yeah, you do because you hate yourself and you're teaching mm. other people to hate you. Self-talk is so important. So I love this. If we knew how powerful our thoughts are, We'd never think a negative thought. And even so, we would think more positive thoughts because our thoughts are so powerful. We don't even know. I'm a big advocate of don't should, don't should on yourself. And if you, know, if you think of when people make you mad, it's when they tell you what you should do. Think about often we say, well, I should do this. And I always ask my clients, I say, should you? Well, everyone thinks I should, but should you? So often shoulds will take us down a career path They'll take us down a life path that was never meant for us. Shook the shoulds. Hire a coach. I'm a coach. Get a mentor and live your best life. And here's the greatest thing Shelly will tell you about this company. If you decide, number one, just to buy products, number two, to make it a business, you get a mentor. You get coaches all for free. And I, as a life coach, I, I tell the people, I train people to be recovery coaches. I train people to be coaches. And I say a good coach is well coached. If you hire a coach that doesn't have a coach, run. Coaching is so important because why? It helps us live our best life. And also it's a place where we can say, I'm thinking I'm so dumb. And the coach can be like, is that true? And then you can go, oh, really? It's not, right? But we are so mean to ourselves. And a coach, a mentor helps us get past that. So the good news, all these things that we can do towards mental health, we can use our words and we have all these amazing products that have absolutely changed my life. Number one, the indigestion gone. Number two, I was on antidepressants for 30 years. I tried to go off when I was raising my kids. It started with postpartum. And then I realized I had very traumatic um, childhood of lots of different kinds of abuse. So while I was raising my kids as a single mom, I did not go off at why, because it wasn't fair to them because it's a transition. And so when the enzymes helped, and then I saw that we had vitamin D and I knew that we had the CBD, I started using it every day. And I went to my doctor and I said, I'm ready. And she had told me no, many times can't do it in the winter. Can't do it. You know? And so I showed her what I was using and I started weaning off two different antidepressants I've been on for 30 years. And I'm here to tell you, I feel awesome. And I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful I had them to help me get through. I did my work. I did my, my um, counseling and coaching and supplements. And I did work on eating healthy. And because of that today, I am living my best life. And I wouldn't be able to do it without these products. Shelly. Thank you so much, Lori. Gosh, that was so good. <laughs> like really, I, I want to commend you too for all that you do. I know even with Tom and I, we get mentoring. We have not arrived. We are, we need help in, you know, it, and this is a, just a new area for us. So it, about five years going down this road, although I've always had a passion for the natural ways, I just was fumbling around always. I didn't never take medications except for that one time with my dad, just for just two pills was all I took, but you know, it was was like, I, I see the importance of counseling, even in our marriage. You know, I always tell people, Hey, you know what? I mean, this year will be 30 years of marriage, but I tell you something. I tell people all the time, go to counseling. If you have issues, it is better to have an outside person come in to help see and have an unbiased opinion and help you walk through things. And by the grace of God and those counselors, <laughs> we can say we uh, have arrived this June at 30 years of marriage, you know? <laughs> yes. Praise the Lord. And, you know, I wanted to tag on that too, as far as the, like the enzymes you were talking about. One thing that we didn't mention was they say that our gut is our second brain, but really, honestly, most um, diseases and everything, 80% of it starts within your gut and your immune system. And if you can get your gut in balance, 
it, so our gut actually produces serotonin. It produces 90% of serotonin. Serotonin is that feel good. Hey, I'm happy today and everything. But if you're, if your gut is in bad shape, honestly, you are not going to, you're going to have a hard time getting, you know, that feel good because, and that's why people are so on so many medications because their guts are all, all in, you know, whacked out and stuff. So I'll just go over a few of the products that we have. And again, it, it's integrating these into your life. These are whole plant-based supplements. Even the capsules are veggie capsules. We don't have anything that's, that's not foreign to the body. We have collagen. We have the most amazing pharmaceutical grade collagen. It's a liquid collagen, hydrolyzed, a type one. It does not have to be converted into the body as most powders do. Most of the time, if you're using powders, it actually, by the time it gets converted, you've already passed it all out and it really has no effect on the body. We see hair, nail, skin. We know of collagen is that, but it's also helps with leaky oh. gut and so many other things, man. I mean, so anyways, we have the best of the best. We have Renew. It's a uh, lowers blood pressure, reduces, um, you know, blood glucose levels. It's just a really an amazing, it's a vitamin E and we have two vitamins E's in there. Most of the time you'll only get one vitamin E, but the two vitamin E's are Choco, Choco Trienol and Geranol Geranol. And those two combined together is just a, like a powerful punch to the vitamin E um, source. Boost is actually, um, will, it will actually uh, enlarge your blood vessels, allow a circulation, uh, so much more, like it supports the healthy heart. Uh, nurse, we have, a, uh, we have a meal replacement shake that is actually really good. <laughs> Most of those meal, meal replacement shakes are not good. I love it. Um, has so many good, it's a good formula, great formula for you. We have a coffee that we were talking about earlier. Um, Mojo, it is one of the best. It's one of those good for you coffees. Improves your mood. You won't get a high and a low crash uh, like my normal coffee here. <laughs> I'll probably get not really a, a crash, but you know what I mean? Like so many people are on that coffee crave and then they get crashes. But this is, will it's actually, will just sustain you with that um, good energy. We have CBD fluid. It's not an oil. The extraction process is actually no heat, no chemicals, and it is 100%. The absorption rate from a fluid to an oil, an oil absorption rate is 6 to 10%. The fluid, our fluid, is anywhere from 75 to 95% absorption rate. And it works. I mean, I was, one, I was really honestly 100% against it at first because I just thought, oh, well, you don't do that kind of stuff. You know, as a Christian, I don't do those kinds of things. But then I understood, began to understand how powerful we actually uh, have, what we have our hands on. And CBD is so good for the body. It actually brings us back into homeostasis and it unlocks the keys receptors in our body. And I tell you what, I mean, I wasn't sleeping. I was going through premenopause and menopause. And for years, I was not, I would sleep like, I don't know, eight to 10 hours, really. And I would wake up exhausted. And two drops, it's not a dropper full or two drops full, it's two drops. And that's it. And I'm telling you what, I woke up before my alarm and I almost, I was like, wait a minute, maybe that was just weird. So for three days, I tested it out. And I'm telling you, I got in my REM, REM sleep every single night. And to this day, um, I can do it. I can actually just do one drop and I'm good. And I get my REM sleep. So we have a multi-mineral, um, um, which is balance. And honestly, again, we'll go back to those. Honestly, we'll go back to how important it is for those uh, vitamins and minerals in our body and the soils being depleted. Uh, we have focus. It's an energy. It's full of vitamin Bs brain food, you really want that. And then Optimize is actually a proteolytic enzyme and it is an aggressive enzyme. It will go after um, inflammation in the body and healing muscles and recovery and all kinds of sorts, things like that. So anyways, we got some great products. That's really all of our products. So we don't have a lot, but what we do is we have powerful products and they really are changing lives. Donna was going to share. We'll start with Donna. Yeah, I truly appreciate this because we've been talking about, you know, we've heard a lot about self-talk. Well, this is real talk. And, you know, yes. when something is not hidden, it can't be sick. And when we bring, when we bring right. the child into the light, it gives the Lord, you know, an opportunity through 
you know, other people hearing that it gets us that, you know, gets the stuff out of our thinker into the light and we can really start addressing it. You know, we, we, we kind of half jokingly say we do a lot of talk about pooping <laughs> because it is, that's how God created our bodies to eliminate waste. And so it's like, oh, well, you know, we get to talk about if you're not pooping, that's a problem, like at least once daily and the consistency of poop. Oprah did a whole show on poop one time. But as I was thinking about, um, because this topic of girl talk is mental health. So in Guyane lives in Livermore and Lori grew up very close to our neighboring rival town of Jay. Um, and so it's Livermore is an amazing town as is Jay, but it's a very, um, you know, they didn't know them what they know now. It, the supports in school were not in place. Students were struggling mentally, emotionally, and the suicide rate was super high. And looking back on it now, it just grieves my heart. And so, you know, sometimes we're slow to recognize the need to put supports in place, but schools are, you know, that's what I did in my last job in Washington. I was an advocate in schools. And so there's a lot of supports in place because the need is so great. We're running to catch up. And so I was thinking of the scripture for God has not the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. You know, that's in his word in second Timothy one, seven, and the church is suffering right along with the world. You know, and you don't have to be um, in the uh, support helping field. You know, all you have to do is you can stay at home and turn on the news and just be overwhelmed with fear is going to want to creep in because we know we have a lover of our soul and we have an L and we truly are fighting a battle. We're fighting a battle on every front, right? Spiritually, emotionally, physically. And so for me, a lot of childhood trauma as well, to me, these are a powerful tool in my toolbox. When I started understanding my body and how it works and the frustration I was having, because I felt like I was doing everything that I knew how to do, but I was still um, having, you know, physical pain in my body because I had an osteoarthritis diagnosis. I had a Hashimoto's disease diagnosis, a severe dry eye and severe dry eye is, it looked like I had sand in my eyes. My eyes are always red. Like it's not fun. And I, I wanted to get to the root of the problem. And I think that's what we teach a lot. Let's get to the root. Let's keep asking why. Let's get below the surface and let's stop just medicating the problem because the medications, our bodies aren't pharmaceutical deficient. They're nutrient and mineral deficient. And again, I love what you said, Lori, about there is a, a time and a season for a medication and finding the right one to be on. We have to be careful because we're so passionate in this industry and we have seen in my opinion, the medical profession the last two years has really has put me on the other side of the fence where I'm very distrusting. And I have to come to some type of reconciliation in my mind and my heart toward them because I'm very angry at the medical community right now. So anyway, I just wanted to put that out there. And so I think when people say, well, if I do this, is this going to help? Well, everybody tells its own story. I can tell you what it's done for me. I can send you to the health community page to you know tag you on the powerful health testimonials there. But recently I started, the Lord opened up doors for me to go into jails and start ministering to women. I just started that two weeks ago. My first day in there, there was not enough CBD if I was not claiming my thoughts. You know, I could, I could drink a whole bottle of CBD, but I was like, I'm terrified. I'm scared. What if this happens? This is a scary environment. I don't know what, you know, so it all works together, you know, but this is a powerful tool. If we know that God has given us you know, he wants us to have the power of love and a sound mind. He is making a way in this broken world for us to equip ourselves. And we believe that what we have with Trinant, what we have with each other as a community, because really this is a business that wraps in just an amazing opportunity to build confidence, to build self-esteem. And uh, we are that three pillars, health, wealth, community. You know, people pray for us. The top earners in our company are praying for our success. They are attainable. They're not like, no, don't touch me. Don't look at me. They are, I mean, they're, they welcome us to take our pictures with them at convention. It's just an amazing, it's an amazing place to be. And I just am very fortunate and blessed to be a part of this, this community. Thanks, Donna. And uh, Shelly is going to tell you a little more about that. But Sharon, could you share your story? But I just really want to talk for a minute about the CBD and Soothe. I mean, back to mental health, I was taking anti-anxiety slash depression medicine for a long time. Understood back then that all that's on the same spectrum, same spectrum as ADD, ADHD. And I learned a lot about serotonin. So similar to some of the other phone uh, or other um, folks on the phone that shared this, 
I really wanted off of the prescription medicine. So I found our Soothe CBD. It felt like it was the best thing for me. I was able to, to stop taking the other medicine. But then the side effect was I have horrible arthritis in my hands, very knobby knuckles. And I didn't expect it. Uh, not only was I feeling better mentally, but the arthritis pain is gone. So the Soothe CBD has been super powerful for me. Two drops in the morning and um, good to go. So I, I really love that product. Thank mm -hmm. you. Well, I, I will share a little something. I want to uh, reiterate or back something that Donna said. I've been very mistrusting of the medical community for many years now because of what I've experienced up close and personal for the last nine years. So I've been on this journey of taking care of my family's health and getting them well for a very long time outside of normal medicine. And um, I can tell you that this works. And the frustrating thing for me is when people are so, so many people have bought the lie that pharmaceuticals are gonna make you better because they don't, they hurt, they kill. I know that God designed our bodies to heal. It's giving it what it needs, the body what it needs to repair itself. We are walking testimonies to God's healing power through different elements. And these products are amazing. They're not just nice supplements. They are healing solutions. And even though we can't supposedly say that or mm -hmm. those claims, um, it's God's pharmacy. God's pharmacy is amazing. And um, I just I want everyone to get on these <laughs> products. Because I know how beautiful they are. I just wanted to say that I hope whomever is here uh, has heard our hearts and will uh, take heed in one form or, or another. Thank you so much, Angie. And thank you all for sharing. So I'll just say that, you know, this is, a, if you want to do this as a business, I mean, for me, I just told people how it helped me. And then they all, all my friends and family wanted to buy it. So if you decide to use this and make it a business, you can win, you can get up to 50% commission. Now you saw anything that you sell when you, if you sign on as an associate, then you get 25%. Once you make it to Jade, which is our first ranking, then you get up to 50% commission. And um, it is so amazing because that's above and beyond what you make at your rank. Also, you have the opportunity once you sign on if you get 10 customers and three associates, you get an extra thousand bucks. So they make it, what I love about this company is they make it very easy for you to make a little extra money to get some wins. And I work with single moms and most single moms are working three jobs. They're never home. My passion is for, to get every single mom I know doing this because you can do it from home, on your computer, on your phone. We say in the nooks and crannies. Billy, uh, Billy is my mother-in-law, just so you know. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm 77, and, and doctors will tell you that arthritis is just part of getting older, that we all have arthritis, and like there's nothing you can do about it. But really, all arthritis is is inflammation, and I had it. I had a, a car accident. I was surgery on my knee. They said I had arthritis in my spine, my knee, all over my body. But it's because our, our body runs out of enzymes, and those enzymes took away that arthritis. Mm. Uh, not to mention gluten issues, acid reflux. I was on two blood pressure meds. I'm on nothing now. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you for being on today and get on that journey and maybe just start with one thing or, or, you know, a couple of things. And I always just tell people, try it for a month. What do you have to lose? You've, you've tried everything else. Why not let, let this be maybe the, the catapult that changes your life forever. And I can say hands down that, um, there are a lot of people that have, we've gotten to change their lives. So anyways, so bless you. And again, thank you. Have an amazing day today.